<laughs> hey guys, oh, welcome back to Celeste's Corner. And you guys are falling. Okay. seeing this it'll be on the first day of my third trimester and for now on I will be posting bi-weekly and so if you don't know what bi-weekly means it means every two weeks so I'm excited about that so look out for my next video which will be my first video for the third trimester which will be on March 8th and that will be my uh weeks 28 to 30 video and then from there on it'll be every two weeks so march 8th march 22nd so on and so on so look out for that so now that we got that out of the way if you guys realize i'm wearing just like a regular shirt and it's way too big for me it's because it's hector's and i'm totally not even wearing a bra because pregnancy i want to be comfy and i'm not gonna put on a shirt to look cute for you guys we just had a doctor's appointment today, that's why I have makeup and my hair done, but other than that, I'm just going to be sitting here, I'm going to be chilling with you guys and talking about my second trimester. First, I'm going to start by updating from my first trimester video. Um, so I re-watched my first trimester video, and then if there's anything that I want to comment on, I wrote it down. So the first thing that I want to say is I still have no morning sickness and um sometimes like i still feel very nauseous in the morning if i actually wake up early and i touched on that again in my first trimester video which i'll leave down below but yeah i don't wake up early because i have nothing to do anyways unless i have to wake up early i don't know why i would but yeah so no morning sickness my pregnancy has been great so remember this that in my first trimester i used to say that um, my body would naturally wake me up around 9, 9.30, but that doesn't happen anymore, thank God. But um, I will say that now, I wake up at about 11.30, 12 o'clock, more towards 12 o'clock, and that is just totally natural, and that's when I wake up Hector, and we both wake up at that same time. So another thing that I'll touch on is the fact that I'm still using the Jamison, Jamison, however you pronounce it, prenatals the chewable prenatals because i'm just not gonna go back to maternal because i know i can't swallow pills for the life of me so yeah i'm still taking that and it's perfectly fine it still tastes great it's green apple and and cranberry and i'm no longer taking the um what's it called restore relax for constipation because that is all cleared i'm gucci yeah so my skin and my lips are still very dry now that i'm looking back at this list i'm like wow if only the first trimester me saw my dry skin or not really my dry skin my dry lips from now my dry lips are so annoying guys like my skin i would say it's it's fine it's it's dry but it's not like unattainable and oh my god but my lips are so bad like i don't know if you guys can see it now right now it doesn't feel that bad because i actually just like rip it off which is so bad but i'm just constantly trying to lick my lips or moisturize them with vaseline lip gloss anything i'm staying away from all matte lipsticks and all that nothing's helping so i'm just gonna try to go to lush one day and get their lip scrubs or make my own at home with like sugar and all that but the dry skin and the dry lips is terrible and it's not going away and i don't think it's gonna go away anytime soon and the last thing that i will touch on is the fact that i tried to eat honey garlic again again if you haven't watched this video like my first trimester video then you won't know about this but i ate honey garlic chicken wings and the baby did not like it but i tried eating honey garlic again and there was no problem so i guess it was just a one time um I will say that I started feeling my baby's kicks 
by um, week 14 which is very early they usually say that you'll feel the kicks around then if it's not your first child because you know how to like detect detect like the kicks and all that stuff or whatever they say i don't know but that's what i've heard but apparently 14 weeks is a little early but i did start feeling the kicks and they weren't really kicks they were like flutters kind of like literally like butterflies again i don't have any um like morning sickness but I realized that my technique is to take my prenatal vitamin in the morning before I eat anything, even before I brush my teeth. Because if I brush my teeth before taking my prenatal, or if I eat before taking my prenatal, it's just not a good thing. I feel very nauseous, and like if I brush my teeth, I go gay, and like it's just not a good thing. But one morning I woke up, and I also woke up early this day, so just all the mixtures. Ugh, it was terrible but i woke up early one day during like i would say around like 15 weeks and i was in the shower and i started brushing my teeth and i got so nauseous that i actually threw up in the shower which is totally disgusting but yeah and so i've still been losing weight um it's kind of annoying because like i'm happy because everybody knows like obviously like if you know me if you see me i am overweight for my age and height um but i'm not like obese but i am overweight and so the fact that i'm losing weight during my pregnancy seems amazing to me as long as i'm healthy and i'm not just like rapidly losing and as long as i still feel good i have no problem with losing weight and then there's also the fact that if the baby is okay if the baby is gaining weight if the baby looks good during um ultrasounds then it shouldn't be a problem that i'm losing weight and i'm not the only one a lot of other people lose weight during their pregnancy or even lose weight during the first and second trimester and gain towards the end so again if i can lose which i have been losing i'm perfectly fine with that and it's kind of annoying because my doctor she like i know she has the like you know she's how do i say this she has my best interest at heart and i understand that and she's a doctor she's a professional but there's moments where i'm like yo lady kind of make up your mind because <laughs> one minute it's like she's telling me that i'm o overweight and she says what can i do to help you lose weight like um like going on walks i keep saying like 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 i'm so tired guys i'm so sorry but she's telling me like to go on walks and go to swimming and go to like prenatal like exercise classes and she also signed me up for a dietitian like appointment and i end up canceling that it's supposed to be tomorrow actually but i ended up canceling that because i'm like i don't need it and i don't want to go so no um but yeah so there's moments like that where she's just kind of like downgrading my weight and then she says to me that it's a problem that i'm losing weight so i'm like yo lady do you want me to lose weight or not lose weight do you want me to gain weight do you want me to lose weight so yeah so like i said i've been losing weight ever since i found out i was pregnant and um so now that i am towards my end towards the end of my second trimester i've lost 16 pounds which means i lost about 16 pounds in about four months because i found out i was pregnant in mid-september and i only started recording my weight and recording other things um like towards like the end of october and it's now february so so yeah so about four months i've lost 16 pounds which doesn't seem like a bad thing again and i'm happy about it so and it's not like i'm doing anything bad i'm not starving myself or anything like that so don't worry about that and so i started taking vitamin b2 and that saved me so right now i wouldn't say i have this but before i had a problem where i was very full very easily and i actually i lied i still have that feeling now but it's not as bad it's really like it's not even that serious i can still eat a big meal but i'll feel so full but at least i can still eat a big meal now 
before i'll take two bites of like let's say a piece of chicken and i feel like i just came home from like mandarin or something so it was terrible so my doctor recommended me two things vitamin b2 and some other vitamin that was like hella expensive for like seven of them and i wasn't about to pay for all those so i started on b2 and thank god it worked so i don't have to go and buy the other one it's the smallest little vitamin so i was and i still am able to swallow it but yeah so if you guys ever like have any problems during your pregnancy with like nausea or um just not feeling hungry or feeling full very quickly because i know it's very common try vitamin b2 so i end up getting my appetite back by week 16. then i had an issue with eating and i say that very lightly but i had an issue with eating between week 16 and 17 where there were just things where a baby was like no 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 but like now it's fine but so during week 16 I ate an orange and I guess maybe it was too acidic or I don't know baby just didn't like it so I threw up from that and then in the next week week 17 I ate a bowl of cereal I threw that up and then I believe that same week was when I ate um, a bowl of soup and I threw that up and that was in the same day that I ate no yeah that was the same day that I ate the cereal actually I remember that day for some reason so I ate cereal in the morning and I ate a bowl of soup for lunch and I threw up both of those and so that day was just really gross. I couldn't hold anything down. It's not even like I wasn't feeling well, like I felt perfectly fine. So I knew I wasn't sick or anything so it was definitely the baby but I've had soup after that, perfectly fine. I've had cereal, perfectly fine. Oranges, perfectly fine. So My note also says, so by week 18, um... The exact date was week, week 18 and 5 days. Um, I got woken up out of my sleep in terrible pain in my right side and hip. Um, so I tried to massage it myself for about 5 minutes and it was just so much pain. Like I remember that day. Oh my god. Like I was sleeping and I literally got like knocked out of my sleep. Like somebody woke me up but obviously nobody woke me up it was the pain the pain was so bad and again i tried to massage it myself for five minutes and i was in so much pain i started crying and then i woke up hector and he massaged it for me and it started to feel a little bit better um and hip pain is normal during pregnancy so it was back pain so it's like what can i do about it and i knew it was nothing that was harming the baby because i've been having those kind of pains anyways and i've told my doctor about it and again it's normal but and i knew it was right on my hip bone like that pain was so terrible i wouldn't wish that on anybody <laughs> and week 18 was when i started realizing that hey i'm oddly not a fan of meat during my pregnancy and i'm a meat person like bacon chicken sausage beef like i'm a big meat fan but still to this day i'm ugh, meat like i'm not disgusted by it but it's just like i'd rather eat some veggies or some fruits or like rice with like sauce and like stuff like that i'll eat a little bit of chicken with my rice but meat has been like a whatever to me like i'm not gonna look at meat the way no i haven't been looking at meat the way i used to kind of like oh my god like yes like show me a steak right now and i'd be like oh like yeah that looks good so week 19 is when we finally got to hear our baby's heartbeat for the first time and actually like hear it hear it we tried about two or three times before that and no luck at all the last time before that it was like a quick like half a second we heard it but then it was gone um which is totally normal it was nothing to worry about um it just happens because it's still very early and hard to find it but so by 19 weeks we heard it and it was spot on it was just it was perfect it took a while to find it but we heard it and it was actually at 150 um beats per second per minute you know what i mean and week 19 is also when i started having deep sleeps and weird dreams so 
I'm still having those now at week 26 but oh my gosh like the 19 by 19 weeks I started having those crazy dreams and I was like what am I dreaming like they don't make any sense it's not even like they're scary dreams but if I do have a nightmare it's just like weird like it, it usually starts off with like something interesting and all of a sudden it just turns into a nightmare but i haven't been having nightmares really but my pregnancy dreams have been so crazy i wish i had an example for you guys but i tend to forget them because i'm like why am i gonna try to remember it but i usually try to remember it just for the morning so i can tell hector about it and it just makes no sense he looks at me like i'm crazy maybe i am <laughs> i don't know the next note that i have is that by week 21 um was the very first time that my back pain was so bad that i had to take tylenol um i've been trying hard not to take tylenol or any other medication for that matter during my pregnancy because i don't want to harm the baby everybody says you can take tylenol including my doctor and so it was so bad that i did take one tylenol i didn't even take two which you're supposed to but i only took one it didn't help at all so ever since then i just haven't taken any other tylenol because i'm like why am i gonna put this in my body if it's not helping but yeah so i've been having very bad back pain um more specifically in my tailbone i hurt my tailbone um when i was in grade seven or eight i remember i was in middle school so one of those i think it was grade seven so i hurt it very bad and i've just been having tailbone pain ever since then like if i sit down for too long or whatever so now that the baby is sitting on my tailbone or you know whatever is happening inside my body ugh, my tailbone hurts so bad but it hasn't been that bad lately that i think about it but around like 18 maybe even 17 so 17 to like 22 weeks I would say about that yeah um my tailbone was terrible and that's around the time that I bought my yoga ball so I actually wrote down the exact date I don't know why but on January 6 I bought my yoga ball and ever since then it's now February now so for just over a month now um, I've been bouncing on my yoga ball for at least 10 minutes every day and I usually do it at nighttime because I realize if I don't do it at nighttime, I have very bad hip and back pain while I'm sleeping. So I do it right before I go to bed just to open up my my cervix and open up my my hip bones and my tailbone and just be comfortable and stretched before I go to bed. And it helps a lot. And then by week 23, I've officially reached the uncomfortable stage where I'll just be sitting there and I'm totally out of breath kind of like right now I'm a little out of breath not that bad but yeah so I get out of breath breath very easily and um yeah just clothes are fitting differently and I just feel very uncomfortable but it's okay nothing I can handle and by the end of my 23rd week my left breast actually leaked for the first time and that was weird it was very really weird and I was like oh my god I was freaking out to Hector and I was like I'm a cow like why am I leaking milk like why just so many questions about the female anatomy it's like like why are we able to do this why do we give birth why there's just so many questions but I'm not even gonna get into that but I was just like oh my god like this thing is leaking out of me Ew. It was it was disgusting. <laughs> like I have no problem with like breast milk and like I'm gonna be breastfeeding and all that stuff, but for it to happen just randomly when I'm sitting there and I'm like, oh, okay. But yeah, I have no other updates other than that. So I am 26 weeks today. So the last update was from 23 weeks, and these past three weeks have just been normal. Um actually one thing i will update you guys on is that the baby's kicks are a lot more frequent in these past three weeks it's crazy like i'll just be sitting there and like, usually like i don't feel kicks a lot during the day but i feel it at night time but even filming this video i'm feeling kicks and during the night i'm feeling kicks in the morning i'm feeling kicks all day the baby's kicking and 
this week was the first week that I was able to um, see the baby's kicks like from my stomach if that makes any sense like I was able to record it on snapchat Hector was able to like look at my stomach and see it move because of the kicks and I just found that so amazing like he's been able to feel the kicks for a lot of weeks now um, but to be able to see it is like whoa like that's crazy but other than that we have no other updates So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you guys give this video a thumbs up and stay tuned for my third trimester videos. And I'm going to try my best to also squeeze in some other videos that are not baby related. Keep up with my regular flow here on Celeste's Corner. And I'm still looking for new channel names. So please, please, please let me know down below. Tweet me, Instagram me, something. Let me know a new channel name that involves like a family, a family feel, you know, not just Celeste's Corner because now there's going to be a lot more vlogs with like me and the baby and Hector and just our life together. So I want to change my channel name for sure by summertime. So let me know, please. And again, hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I will see you guys next time on Sus's Corner. Peace.